Ladies and gentlemen, on this RedGamingTech.com video, we have some news concerning the Xbox One, and supposedly the Microsoft are having problems with the ES RAM in terms of the yields, as well as the GPU in terms of the heat. Supposedly, Microsoft are requiring to underclock the GPU by 1 to 200 megahertz. This gives a reduction in GPU performance from 1.2 teraflops all the way down to about 900 gigaflops, which is about 50% of what the PlayStation 4's GPU is actually capable of producing. Also, with the ES RAM, supposedly they're having yield issues. This basically means that the small, fast amount of memory that is embedded directly on to the APU the Xbox One's APU, which of course is the die that contains the CPU, the GPU, as well as other circuitry, well, they're having issues with that. And this is somewhat ironic, because as it turns out, one of the reasons that Microsoft went with this approach was because they were worried about the yields of a GDDR5 RAM. And they were concerned that not only was it going to be very expensive, but they were concerned that they would not be able to get enough of them. And that's why they actually sacrificed the amount of GCN cores in the Jaguar, as well as um, putting in the Move engines, because they obviously went with the DDR3 as well as the ES RAM. Now... So if this is true, and there are multiple sources that are saying it is true, but obviously it's not been confirmed yet, it's certainly not a very good thing for Microsoft, because obviously, not only is it going to hurt the system in terms of long-term viability, but it's also going to hurt the system in terms of cross-platform games. Now, the Xbox One supposedly started to be worked on during about sometime in 2010. I don't have a specific date. However, Sony, on the other hand, started to work on the PS4 all the way back in 2008. So that's a two-year difference, 2010 for the Xbox versus 2008 for the PS4. Some would argue, quite happily, that the Xbox um, One, of course, does have the cloud computing. However, it's worth noting that that cannot help on all aspects of games simply because of the delay and the latency of internet. Microsoft really do not want another repeat fiasco of the original Xbox 360 launch because you all remember just how long the Red Ring of Death incidents plagued them. Months later, years later, not only were there memes being created on the internet, which of course is not a very good form of publicity at all, but in addition, the cost of repair of all of the, those units was, let's just go with significant, plus, of course, the bad will. I know several people who actually said that they weren't going to buy an Xbox 360 while the problems were happening. And some people actually just gave up on the Xbox 360 and bought a PS3. The good news is for Microsoft, however, they still have some time before the consoles release. Therefore, in theory, they may be able to iron out some of these problems. The GPU issue is definitely more worrisome for them than the ES RAM. Why? Because as the manufacturing process becomes refined and they either manage to reduce the manufacturing size of the dies or they simply just get better at producing them, Naturally speaking, the yields for the ES RAM will go up. The only problem is it may mean that there are less systems available on launch. However, the big problem for them is the GPU power. Why? Because let's assume you buy the system on launch. They can't make it so that new consoles, say two years down the line, are to the original clock speed. So are going to be like 100 or 200 megahertz faster than yours. Because that will mean that your console will play games worse than a new console, which of course, well, is completely the opposite. A natural backlash from that would be absolutely huge. Imagine that your console performs worse. That's that that's like negating the whole point of actually owning a console to begin with. Um, I suppose theoretically they could recall the consoles to upgrade their their APUs, but that cost would be far too much, and I highly doubt they would go that route. Anyway, this is a fairly short video. Once again, not been confirmed, 
but there certainly are sources going about, so I guess we'll just have to see how true this really is. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, and definitely get your speculation hats on. I will see you soon, take care, and bye for now.